Hey guys and welcome to my channel and welcome back. I am going to do my throwback Thursday. I'm really really loving this you guys and I'm I'm really happy that you guys have really embraced this as well. In fact I have people that are asking you know multiple different types of candles to be burnt but it's been wonderful it's and it just gets me to use my candles and you know, again, I, I'm, I'm a huge candle collector, but you know, I, I do want to actually enjoy the burn. I want to be able to smell. There's a reason why I have all those candles. And it's nice to pull those candles from uh, my closet that haven't seen the light of day in a, quite a while and to burn them. And I think it's just been great. And so thank you guys very much uh, for being a part of this. So this week's um, Throwback Thursday candle was picked by the Candle Dancer. And she picked the Avila Bergamot, and I called it Vanilla Bergamot when I was introducing it last time. I'm sorry. It is the Villa Bergamot, and it was in the, I think it was the tail end of 2013, beginning of 2014, but I did pick this up at an SAS last year in 2014. Um, so I guess they were still out there. So this is part of the Italian collection that had like the Dolce, which I have a Dolce, I have an Espresso, which someone's already asked me to, to review that down the road. Um, there was a lemon one, I didn't get the lemon one, and an orange one that I didn't get. So I'm not, it's not, I'm not as big a fan of citrus, if you can't tell. But I did pick this up because it's very different for me. So the Villa Bergamot, uh, Bath and Body Works describes this as an aromatic bergamot grown in the warm and sunny Calabria, Calabria region of Italy provided the inspiration for this elegant citrus blend that also includes lavender and geranium. It's this far from citrus. It's actually more like a men's cologne, which is why I say it's very different for me than what I would normally get. It's, it's, it's not mahogany teak wood. It's like a lighter version of a men's cologne. Um, the wax has kind of done some funny colors, but you know that happens with the light colored wax it does sort of turn gray i do not extinguish my candles by doing this so it is just in the course of burning um, and i do trim my wicks and dump the the wick remnants out so again it's not from it's just the way this candle was made um it's a great candle again it was nice to i've had so many sweet candles so this was kind of a nice change of pace and um yeah i don't i mean i don't know why they say it's sweet citrus blend I don't know. I would be like this is um, kind of on the borderline of sexy man. Sort of like black tie, you know, uh, mahogany. I'm not a big fan of mahogany teak wood. I, I can take black tie to a, to a point. Um, yeah, so it's sort of like a summer sexy man. I don't know if that makes sense. It's a lighter version. I guess that's probably why I say that. But um, it was a great candle. Um, like I said the burn was very good, very even. Um, yeah, and it's just starting to, it's starting to do the struggle. Like, I haven't trimmed the wicks here, and that's kind of what I, when I blew out the candle, what the wicks were like. So, yeah, it's just, I've just come to the realization that Bath & Body Works is just going to hang up their prices and create really puny wicks. <laughs> so, but whatever. It's okay. I'm still going to buy the candle. And to be perfectly honest with you, and, and Sean touched on it from Hearths and Soul, um, they do raise the prices and yeah, okay. It's like probably it's like about a buck a, a year or a buck a year, every year and a half and in Canada They just raised it was weird in Canada. They just raised the prices to twenty six dollars and fifty cents for two for twenty six fifty But yet my coupon came in <laughs> But and it's a Canadian coupon that we have to obviously when you're at the till and you go and they ask you for your email address You give you give them that um, my coupon code was 10 off of, uh, or sorry, my coupon code, sorry, it stated on the coupon that the candles for this weekend for us is Thanksgiving weekend in Canada was buy two for $25.50. So I, I, I forgot to mention that when I when I did my haul. I asked the lady, I'm like, so what's up with that? And she said, well, actually they are, it was an error on the coupon side. Obviously they're honoring it. But basically, here's the thing. If you're in Canada, apparently if you bitch enough, about the the prices being raised, um, they will give them to you for twenty five fifty. At least in my local Bath and Body Works store, the ladies were saying that they will just do it. Um, so FYI on that. So I don't know if that's a, probably not across the board because I do imagine that everywhere is kind of different. But you never know; it's worth a try. I would say be kind when you do your 
itching. <laughs> so anyway, you guys, um, sorry, I'm totally off of course here. So Villa Bergamont, uh, which was picked by Candle Dancer. And uh, thank you again very much for picking that. And now I'm going to introduce to you next week's, this coming week's candle. That, um, let me just, I want to make sure I get this right. That the fragrance and the flame. He um, asked if I would burn this. And I'm so excited. And you know what? You're right. The fragrance and the flame. He sent me a message asking if I would review this next candle because although it was released in the winter time of 2014, it really, and you'll understand, it's definitely more of a fall kind of combination. And I absolutely agree with you. So he asked if I would review the 2014 uh, Made with Love Holiday Apple Crisp, which I believe. For those in the States, it was a White Barn exclusive, but here in Canada, because we don't have White Barns, they're actually making our Bath & Body Works actually bringing, like we're going to have White Barn exclusives as well as the regular uh, candles. And my Bath & Body Works store was always um, a, a test store, I guess is what they're called. So they always brought in these different ones that, you know, I saw on. YouTube, everyone's like, oh, I couldn't get to it. They only, they didn't have this only at White Barn. So I will admit though, obviously I'm gonna review this next week, but it is so yummy. You smell like an apple crisp. You really do. You can smell the bakery and everything in it. So I, again, I haven't burnt it. Um, we will be, we will be burning this together and I will do my review for you all on, um, on the holiday apple crisp. And that again was the fragrance and the flame who uh, requested that I burn that one for the next uh, Throwback Thursday. So, oh, and Jasmine, if you're out there watching, um, you comment on, on a video of mine asking why sometimes it looks like a bubble and I'm in a bubble. And what it is is I actually, I refuse to buy a computer. I work in front of a computer all day at work. In fact, when I was an auxiliary constable, I was in front of a computer in the car. So, you know what, I kind of, said no and I actually film with my iPhone 6. So what happens is if, if you do see that bubble and I'm sorry and I can't see that, it doesn't happen when I watch now, it doesn't happen when I review, it only happens if I'm uploading and I'm too close to the camera on my phone. So that's what it is, is if I'm a little bit too close, you'll see it's like a little, I'm in a bubble like a fishbowl. So uh, my apologies, and I'm trying to get better at that. Again, I'm on a learning curve here. But um, yeah, you guys, thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for helping me out with the, th th with the Throwback Thursday. I really look forward to hearing um, what the next ones, we'll, we'll put the request out um, shortly. Um, well, I guess actually, <laughs> why don't we do it now? I'm here. So I'm gonna burn for this next week the Holiday Apple Crisp. If you guys have a chance to look down at my collection video that I have and pick a fall type candle um, that I still have, let me know and uh, we'll, we'll definitely burn it. Um, what else was I gonna say? We've got a couple more weeks I'd say for fall candles and then I'm gonna start requesting that you go and look into some of my collection video and look for some more Christmas inspired candles that I do have a few. So um, yeah, you guys, thanks again for being patient. And again, I, <laughs> my brain today is just like, oh my gosh, it's been a long weekend, but we've had call outs after call outs, but it's all good. <laughs> all right, you guys take care and happy Thanksgiving for those of my most Canadian viewers of mine and uh, Columbus Day weekend for the Americans. So you guys have a great and safe long weekend.